एवरीवन हैज द विल टू विन बट वेरी फ्यू हैव द विल टू प्रिपेयर नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू हेडलाइंस ऑफ द डे इस वीडियो में हम डिस्कस करेंगे इंडियन एक्सप्रेस को और आज की हमारी पहली इंपॉर्टेंट हेडलाइन है डीएससी अप्रूव्स डीआरडीओ मिसाइल सिस्टम्स वर्थ 4276 करोड़ इट इज अवेलेबल ऑन पेज नंबर 11 एंड ये रिलेटेड पेपर थ्री डिफेंस सेक्शन से दिस आर्टिकल वी हैव टू नो अबाउट द रीसेंट अप्रूवल ऑफ डिफेंस एक्विजिशन काउंसिल फॉर मिसाइल सिस्टम्स एंड व्हाट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ द मूव तो फ्रेंड्स रिसेंटली डिफेंस एक्विजिशन काउंसिल अप्रूव्ड थ्री प्रपोजल्स टू स्ट्रेंथन द कंट्रीज डेटरेंस एंड कॉम्बैट रेडीनेस राइट बाकी अदर पॉइंट्स के लिए यू कैन गो थ्रू दिस आर्टिकल Our next important headline is SC will first decide on constitutional validity of section 6A. It is available on page number 12 and here related to paper to polity and governance. In this article, we have to know about section 6A of the Citizenship Act. So, friends, section 6A deals with special provisions as to citizenship of persons covered by the Assam Accord, and it says that all those who came to Assam on or after January 1st, 1966. but before march 25 1971 from specified territory and since then are residents of assam must register themselves under section 18 for citizenship right बाकी अदर पॉइंट्स के लिए आप इस आर्टिकल को देख लीजिएगा ठीक आर नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट हेडलाइन इज माइग्रेंट फ्रूट सेलर नियर आरबीआई हेडक्वार्टर्स इन मुंबई इज नाउ पार्ट ऑफ की पायलट प्रोजेक्ट लॉन्च्ड बाय आरबीआई इट इज अवेलेबल ऑन पेज नंबर 13 एंड ये रिलेटेड पेपर 3 इकोनॉमी सेक्शन से इन दिस आर्टिकल वी हैव टू नो अबाउट सेंट्रल बैंक डिजिटल करेंसीज एंड व्हाट पर्पस वुड इट सर्व टू फ्रेंड्स इसको हमारी वेबसाइट पे बहुत अच्छे से कवर किया गया है एंड लिंक अवेलेबल करा दिया गया है डिस्क्रिप्शन में बाकी अगर हम ओवरव्यू देखें तो इट इज अ लीगल टेंडर इशूड बाय रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया इन डिजिटल फॉर्म which can be transferred electronically from one holder to another right our next important headline is the game in perspective it is available on page number 14 and here let me paper to government policies and interventions say in this article we have to know about online gaming industry in india and what are the new draft amendments with respect to online gaming and how has the industry responded and how will the new rules protect users and what are the obligations of gaming platforms so friends recently ministry of electronics and information technology has released draft amendments in relation to online gaming and it is aimed to ensure that online games are in conformity with indian laws and to safeguard users against potential harm baki for better understanding ek link provide kara diya gaya hai to aap wahan se kuch points cover kar sakte hain theek our next important headline is india the bridge it is available on page number 15 and here related to paper to international relations say in this article we have to know about india's policy towards global south recent developments emerging challenges suggestions and way ahead to dosto isko hamari website pe cover kiya gaya hai एंड लिंक क्यों कहा मिलेगा उसके अलावा कुछ पॉइंट्स आप यहां से भी देख सकते हैं बाकी अगर हम ओवरव्यू देखें तो इंडिया विल होस्ट अ वर्चुअल समिट ऑफ अबाउट 120 ट्वेंटी कंट्रीज ऑफ द ग्लोबल साउथ नेक्स्ट वीक टू डिस्कस देयर प्रायोरिटीज एंड प्रस्पेक्टिव ऑन अ कॉमन प्लेटफॉर्म ठीक Our next important headline is if Japan goes nuclear it is available on page number 15 and here related to paper to international relations say in this article we have to know about Japan's national security strategy and how it affects India's interest and what lies ahead to dosto isko yahan pe bahut acche se explain kiya gaya hai aap ek baar dekh lijiyega baki agar hum overview dekhe to recently Japan has unveiled a new national security strategy and new defense strategy signaling the country's biggest military build up since world war 2 with india listed as one of the key partners amid china's growing aggression in the indo pacific region theek our next important headline is prithvi 2 tactical ballistic missile successfully tested it is available on page number 17 and here related to paper 3 defense section say in this article we have to know about prithvi 2 missile so friends it is a surface to surface missile and it has a strike range of 350 km and it is capable of carrying 500 to 1000 kg of warheads and it is powered by liquid propulsion twin engines theek Our next important headline is Delhi is still most polluted city. Three from Bihar placed in top ten. It is available on page number seventeen. And here related to paper three environment section say in this article we have to know about national clean air program tracker its recent analysis highlighted issues and suggestions. So, friends, it is a joint project of carbon copy portal and Maharashtra based Respirer Living Sciences. And according to it, Delhi continued to be the top polluted city in the country in 2022. Right? Baki other points you can go through this article. Our next important headline is what is cold wave and why North West India is shivering. It is available on page number 18. And here related to paper on geography. एंड पेपर थ्री एनवायरमेंट से इसको लिंक कर सकते हैं इन दिस आर्टिकल वी हैव टू नो अबाउट कोल्ड वेव दोस्तों इसको हमारी वेबसाइट पे बहुत अच्छे से कवर किया गया है एंड लिंक यू नो की कहां मिलेगा उसके अलावा कुछ पॉइंट्स आप यहां से भी देख सकते हैं आर नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट हेडलाइन इज ओजोन होल फिलिंग अप नाउ इट इज अवेलेबल ऑन पेज नंबर 18 एंड ये रिलेटेड पेपर थ्री एनवायरमेंट सेक्शन से इन दिस आर्टिकल वी हैव टू नो अबाउट ओजोन होल एंड ओजोन लेयर 
and findings of recent assessments linked to them. So friends, according to recent assessment, ozone layer is on the track to recover within four decades with the global phase out of ozone depleting chemicals already benefiting efforts to mitigate climate change, right? And do you know friends, ozone layer is the region of high ozone concentration in the stratosphere which is 15 to 35 kilometers above the earth's surface and it acts as an invisible shield and protect us from harmful ultraviolet radiation from the sun. Deep. And one more thing friends, ozone hole is not technically a hole where no ozone is present but it is actually a region of exceptionally depleted ozone in the stratosphere, right? Our next important headline is Delegated Legislation. It is available on page number 18 and here literary paper do polity and governance. In this article, we have to know about delegated legislation and why is excessive delegation power an issue and what did the court decide? So, friends, in these three points, we have explained very well. You can see it once again. If we look at the overview, Parliament routinely delegates certain functions to authorities established by law since every aspect cannot be dealt with directly by the lawmakers themselves and this delegation of power is noted in statutes which are commonly referred to as delegated legislations, right? Our next and last important headline is Recession, a looming threat for global economy, World Bank. It is available on page number 23 and here related to paper 3, economy section say. In this article, we have to know findings and suggestions of World Bank's latest global economic prospects report. So friends, according to recent report, global growth is slowing sharply in the face of elevated inflation, higher interest rates and reduced investment and disruptions caused by Russia's invasion of Ukraine and the global economy is projected to grow by 1.7% in 2023 and 2.7% in 2024, right? Baki other points, you can go through this article. So friends, aaj ke liye itna hi. thanks for listening. For regular updates, you can follow us on various social media platforms.